chunk this out. Um, but yeah, so that this is the Spherify stuff. I need to do a better um, screen grab of of the effect or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to do a um, fracture. Ding, ding, ding. Maybe we'll do that. Then we'll do another one that's the cloud. So we put some points just on the inside. I don't know, sometimes I like to turn off that um, relax, especially with volumes. I think it can get a little bit weird. Um, and then I'll just do a remesh, maybe. I haven't been following the shader stuff too much. Uh, there was some interesting, someone did a presentation on, on like texture bracketing or something like that, that was on shader toy. That was pretty interesting. That was like using um, tangent fields or something like that to do like procedural texture mapping. That was really cool. So I'm just pasting that code in from the um, uh, wiki, wiki. And then we can do this to so this right now will just apply to everything. Um, if you wanted to do them per piece, you could do this for uh, each connected piece. This is just working quickly or whatever. Um, so now they should be all just going from the centroid. And then if you want to do it from center of mass, um, I would use this. This node, let's just go into the single pass. Um, and that will pull it like that. And then you can plug in, use the extra input. Um, and then down here, instead of having centroid be the center, um, you can just add an extra line of code that would be like uh, points from the auxiliary input right there. We want to grab the position and it's just always going to be point number zero. So if we <clears throat> comment or uncomment that you should see a little bit of a difference. So then it would be getting center of mass. You might be able to do some other things. Um, to not do this in a for loop, if you spend more time on the vex code of things. Um, but just for speed, I think it's clear it's the, the, the quickest to set up this way um, but basically you could have this be an attribute the size in the center and then you could still run the code like per point but the for loop should work as well so hopefully that's somewhat useful um, you might be able to do other things as well with these sizes to get something, I don't know, instead of non-uniform, I'm trying to just switch it to the uniform scale there or whatever, if you want to just override that with um,
a uniform value. You can do something like that. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's that's the Spherify, the Boxify. Uh, there's some cool stuff up there. Um, I'm just gonna put this in the folder. I, I lost my ability to spell. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you can grab that if you want as well. Ah, uh, you have some stuff in the Discord. <laughs> 